Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the second match of the games? We have the map Gergovia with uh, today. This game will be covering the French side and their defense. We have Darte 44 with the Jazz again, just stuck to her with the Pikes, Leonidas, Alexander Rose uh, with the Germanicus medium infantry, Le Joge, Le Joge, Le Joge, Le Joge, Le Joge. Uh, as the Hazardable Spears, Azur 39 with the Arminius Cavalry again, Dracarios with the Elephants, Trachus with the Ambiorix Archers. Alrighty, ladies and gents, let's see what happens. Well, they're a little spread out. According to this, if you'll see, he's actually uh, pointing out, looks like uh, so the... Uh, the French team, they're gonna take that center. They're gonna take that center city. Capture the enemy base or kill all enemy forces. Double time. Okay, interesting. Interesting choice. Oh, I should have probably gone over that way. Oh well. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Gonna take time. So we have Azure going down the middle. He's gonna split his cab. He's going down. He's gonna get some vision. Find out exactly where everybody plans to go. And Neris right there. Uh, already got vision on him as well. Very nice choice, Azur. Get that flag. Get some vision going. Azur is go gonna have every single point of vision. They're gonna see their entire team. Nomad taking some fire. Uh, uh, actually, there you go. Caught by Neris. Neris is actually going to be able to use his defiance if he wants to and take out Azur completely, eliminating one cab out of the game. That would be a very smart choice, in my opinion, if he could. But he's gonna save his defiance. All right, looks like uh, Azure's got the vision over there. There's no threats. So the battle the battle is gonna be right where we expect the Nomadic Fire over here, ready to take on Jicarios. He's gotta be a little bit careful though with those archers coming around the bend there. And it looks like the entire French team is enclosed right here. This is very interesting. Uh, are they gonna push forward or are they gonna wait until they're ready to uh, take it all on? not too sure it looks like they're just gonna pull up right here use their elephants for vision this is really interesting meanwhile Neris is gonna throw some fire make sure destructor moves out of the flame that's not gonna bother him too much they've got a very strong defensive hold right here however if Aquila Polonica's range get on this wall they could do massive amounts of damage due to the way of firing and look Thor we're gonna have a little range battle between Trachis and Thor look at this interesting battle Neris throwing some fire right here very smart choice with that Vercingetorix throw of fire forcing the entire team to move forward Destructor hopefully he's gonna be able to get his pipes down and not do damage if he does this is a very very interesting I haven't seen a battle quite like this right here but right now Aquila Polonica does have the point lead, so they just have to be patient. Meanwhile, the pikes are beaching, so they're unable to throw down their pikes. And Lejoge is going to get in here with his spears. Very smart. Get his hazardable spears in there, boys. Let's take a look. Even the Germanicus infantry is also beaching, so this no abilities are being able to be used right here. In which case, the Germanicus infantry should have the advantage right here. It's going to be a range battle coming out, boys and girls. This, I don't think this is a smart move. The French team is too, too, like, concentrated in a small area. So this is where Neris is going to use his flames, forcing them to move. Because otherwise, they're going to take lots and lots of damage. And the, the range battle is continuing to go out. Alexandros being very smart, using his Testudo, giving his range players the advantage, at least, away from Thor's uh, ranged. This isn't good right now. Uh, Aquila Polonica is making a hole. They're making a hole that they need necessary in order to push through. And meanwhile, the French team looks like they're going to back off. They're going to go deal with those elephants. Meanwhile, they're they're giving up their elephants at, in, in exchange. I don't know. This is not looking good. I think this whole small area, they should have paid attention with that Vercingetorix pick. That Vercingetorix is just going to throw fire in these little areas where he can. Meanwhile, the French team is about to lose their elephants by the looks of it. However, the Aquila Polonica's team has 
received tremendous amounts of damage to all of their range. It's a pretty even battle at this point, but again, they're still staying in this small corridor where they should not be, honestly. They need to spread out. They need more room with this uh, Versing Getter. It's able to just throw fire anywhere he pleases. Meanwhile, it looks like Aquila Polonica, they're capping the base with two elephants and uh, uh, Hannibal swords. Or just the Hannibal swords, actually. They're going to be capping the base. Very smart, but they did keep something there to decap. Very smart choice on the French team. So this is a very different battle from the last one. Although still very defensive, uh, Aquila Polonica is actually showing that they're able to push through these defenses. And uh, the French team only has about half a pike left along with another full pike and this is this is the strength right here if uh Neris can get through he's gonna get through is he gonna get the archers no he's not gonna get the archers but is he going to pop defiance he is on defiance the archers are just gonna pull through safely through they'll take minimal damage however now a kill blonica with the flag and vision this is this is not good the french team what they needed to do was not be in this enclosed spot they needed the vision and Aquila Polonica, they had all the vision they needed in order to do the damage they needed. They had the Versigeterix fire in order to lay fire exactly where they wanted to, forcing the French team to move, get out of position. Still, Trachus is still very, very healthy. He can do some hurt harm if he was uh, had the vision, but he doesn't have vision to do enough harm. At this point, Tanafil's uh, going to be putting pressure as much as he can and Trachus is moving and moving away from his support if he moves too much more Tanafels and this Neris uh, cavalry is going to take him out Trachus moving back and forth it doesn't know which way do I go which way do I go do I get ready for some crippling shots he's gonna fire on Neris oh he's got Le 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 Lejoge over here Aquila Polonica still plowing through Slowly but surely, they're making their hole and getting through. Meanwhile, these elephants are being engaged with the pikes. Aquila Polonica, again, still with the vision advantage. So now they're going to be able to take the range advantage by having the vision. And Neris has gotten in there. He's gotten attached to the archers and is in defiance. So that unit's going to be just fighting until it dies. Very nice uh, attack by Neris there. <laughs> undefeated now pushing the archers away and pushing them away from support very smart get them out of the fight get them away keep them as far away so that the rest of the team can mop everything up there's no more uh, firepower really on the French team uh, in, except for Trachus and they're just slowly being torn apart Azure with the charge he tried to get a nice charge but it did not fall through sadly now Aquila Polnica just pushing through they're going to take out this one pike. They've got the advantage in numbers. They've got the advantage in infantry. Trachus is unable to deal damage. And I'd say this is going to be a very nice change. They, you know, Aquila Polonica, they had the cha uh, The battle was uh, definitely not what I expected. Aquila Polonica pulled through. They uh, made the holes they needed. And the, 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 the key thing here, that Vercingetorix fire was a massive game changer. The French team... Their little position right here was definitely just not, not where they needed to be. They did not need to be captured in here with the Vercingetorix flames. Especially, it's so easy. That the Vercingetorix could throw from here, and he could pretty much get anywhere in that area. Same from over here. He had easily enough uh, advantage to throw the fire where he wanted, when he wanted. And then... Even with one fire, deal a massive amount of damage just simply because there are so many units taking that damage. Well done, Aquila Polonica. Congratulations on your victory. Very nice showing. Now, this is going to be interesting. We're going to go to game three. This French team, are they going to go a third time with their defense? Or are they going to be like, okay, we need to rethink our strategy because we came in with one strategy and it worked for one game. The second game, it didn't work. Now we need to change that. Are they prepared for a change? Clearly, Aquila Polonica can adapt, but can the French team adapt at this point? <laughs> 